Hey guys, I'm back with another video where I waste money for no reason. I currently have the Forge Motorsports short shifter installed along with a six element cable bushings that are down there. And I decided to try the Racer X stuff because their shifter may not be adjustable, but from playing with other people's, it honestly feels a little bit more solid because the Forge has a bit of a wiggle to it. And in terms of bushings, Racer X does what's technically right and uses spherical bearings. Now in this case, the cable doesn't really have much rotation to it. Like on older Toyotas, the shift cable would rotate while shifting and the spherical bearing is absolutely necessary. Any solid bushing just ruins the shifter feel. That is the case on my MR2. But for this car, they feel almost identical from testing other people's cars, but I figured let's give it a shot. So I'm going to install these parts instead of what I have now, and we'll see if it makes much of a difference. All right, I got the air box out to reveal the shifter. I'm gonna replace it real quick. I also noticed that on this bracket I removed, I'm missing one of the rubber grommets that the air box should sit in. So I'm glad I took this apart. I need to order one of these. All right, so I installed the new spherical bearings from Racer X, and I guess I kind of don't understand the purpose when you have a spherical bearing and then you cover it up with a washer. So now there's almost no rotation in either one. There's a little bit here, but it's not that substantial. It almost feels like <clears throat> there should be a spacer between the washer and the actual bearing so that it can rotate because this just defeats the purpose. I don't know how I feel about this, especially with the cost being more than double the sixth element kit. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments because I don't know if this is worth it. I can already say I'm not a fan of these. I'm trying to install it on this short shifter bracket and the center of the bearing keeps popping out. It's supposed to be completely flush. Let's see. Yeah, I can't do it flush by hand. I'm probably gonna need a tool. But every time I try to tighten this down onto this post, the fitment is so tight that the entire bearing just pops out of the center. This is pretty frustrating, actually. I had a chat with Racer X, and they confirmed that this bushing should not come apart by hand. They're pressed together at their facility, so by hand you should not be able to take it apart. They sent me a new one, and this one I cannot remove the middle by hand, so that's good. This one should be strong. I'm installing it the way the instructions say because I misread them. One collar at the bottom, then one collar at the top then the nut so i'm going to get this installed and put back in the car so now it's installed properly one collar bushing big washer second collar locking washer and the nut on top and now it has a little bit of movement uh it's hard to capture on camera but essentially this is the amount of rotation it has a couple degrees it's better than nothing obviously because it does feel better than the solid bushings with the forge shifter. It would have been more fair to test them separately, like sh one bushing to another bushing or one shifter to another shifter, but I decided to do the whole Racer X package because that's how most people will buy it. All right, the short shifter is installed. Everything seems to work. I gotta say, I like the design of this. It feels more thought out and uh, braced than the forge one it's not adjustable which could be a downside i'll have to see how it feels on the street but i do like the design about the bearings i'm not so sure the sixth element design fit perfectly and had no fitment issues so i'm still on the fence about that but the short shifter is really nice all right conclusion time i wanted to say that i paid for these parts they weren't sent for review the shift throw is great. It's about the same as the forge shifter the way I had it set, which was pretty close to the longest throw, but it's about perfect. It feels just about right. Uh, some might like it shorter and the forge short shifter will allow you to make it shorter, but this is the way I like it. In terms of shift effort, the effort is much lower on this setup than before. It feels a lot sharper, a lot more mechanical, and a lot less... Uh, how best to put it a lot less forceful everything just clicks into place i really like it it feels a little bit less uh 
sporty in the sense that you're not banging gears like a Honda owner, but it feels fantastic. I do have my criticism of the parts, like the fact that the bearings are held in by a single washer. I said before that you might be able to space the washer, but that's not true. If you space that washer, then the shifter cable end might come off of the washer. It's the only thing holding the cable end on. So basically you don't want to do that. Uh, the correct way would have been to use a circlip, but oh well. Whether I can say that the bearings themselves are better than the sixth element shifter or the shift bushings, I don't know. It would have been more fair to do a direct comparison. But like I said before, most people are buying this as a package. Racer X shift bushings and the short shifter. And as a package, absolutely worth it. This is actually a really good upgrade. I'm glad I did this. Even though some people might like a shorter shift, I, I like it this way. And I highly recommend it to anybody. However, if you want a shorter shifter, probably get the forge. The bearings might still be worth it. Have a good one.